a lot of people that have been asking me, you know, how do I work a screen? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run screen with top. And you can do screen alone. Um, and I will give you a, a command line. Um, but this is, uh, this is the license agreement, and then it will give you a command line. So, we throw in top, and we control A plus C, which gives us a new window, and we'll put in my, uh, network monitor. And so now we have top and the network monitor. So after that, what we're going to do is we're going to put them together in one uh, window. So control A and then shift S. Now if you do control A then S without hitting shift, it will freeze the screen and tell it, well, it, it will be what's called suspending the screen. And you'll suspend it until you want to suspend it, of course. Uh, after that you hit control A and then tab to go down. Did you see that? It's all you get is the uh, little green box moving downward. Then you go control A N and control A N. There we go. We have top and uh, my network monitor working in one. After that we can go control A and shift X closes it but we still have it over here so uh, to switch between screens like that that's control a n and then control a p and then control a p and then control a n and control a n you know uh, previous and next so control a previous control a next um, what else uh, you can go control A and lowercase x and that locks your screen so if you have to get up from your terminal and you don't want anyone to you know interrupt by accident you know someone accidentally hits control AC oh no now my network monitor is down um, if you have kids I guess you might want to lock it up I've never actually locked it uh, besides showing people that you can lock it. Um, see, the thing is with screen is that it's separated by users, too. Um, so you can, uh, like uh, this guy right here, Centibuy, he's logged in right now using IRSSI. And he can't get uh, into my screens because it's, you know, root can't even get into my screens there are my screens to that account even if they uh, switch user into them you have to actually go in and log in that's how secure it is um, after that uh, control A and then D detaches the screen and then pretend I just logged in right so to reattach a screen you type screen and then L uh, space minus ls and uh, the first three numbers right here or the first numbers period uh, before the first period are the process ID and then you go screen minus X and then the process ID and what that does is the X allows multi-user mode uh, multi-user mode uh, allows uh, for your user to log in more than one time. So here I have uh, my screen session over there. And so now I'm going to load it up again. And as you see here, I'm logging in as the same user. And we'll go screen minus ls. X4777 and voila it's the same screen I can switch it to this and then I can control C and then I can type exit and I can control C and I can type exit now let's go back into screen and 
actually let me close this one alrighty now we're back in a screen again and you know we want to save it and that's control a d for detach right and we can screen ls uh, 40 and we're back in again and then we can control a then shift d then shift d again which logs us out and detaches the screen at the same time that's about it thanks for watching